this episode is sponsored in part by Play Studios. So you likely play my Vegas slots, not always for the big slot machine wins, but for the great free my Vegas comps. But you typically only get three premium comps. So how do you prioritize what you get? Well, that's what I'm here to explain. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So, if you like me, despite all the bad things going on in Vegas, like this. Now we dance this oh. And this. <laughs> and of course, this. Wynn seeks to quash any mistaken belief that Wynn would ever tolerate any intrusion upon the safety and well-being of its guests and employees. You're probably still looking forward to a Vegas trip sometime soon. For me, the biggest week in Vegas is going to be October 27th when Circa finally comes through and we get to check out the first new Vegas hotel this decade. I guess by default. So that being said, I've decided to use some of my My Vegas comps to subsidize the cost. Especially since my gambling at Circa probably won't get me a room until, at a minimum, December. So if you're trying to do the same thing, stick around and we'll show you where to go for your first reward. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, but before we get into that, I wanted to go ahead and follow up on one more thing um, about the Lux rewards and the swag rewards from the Fall Frenzy. So I know you, a lot of you guys were trying to struggle and kind of having a hard time getting those. Just wanted to go ahead and reinforce that it is possible. I did take a video to show you guys how to do that. I'll go ahead and link it in the uh, corner up here in the upper right hand corner of the screen. But in the meantime though, I wanted to go ahead and show you all the rewards for our hard work. So this came from the swag rewards section and it was, it set me back a good 70,000 loyalty points which is a heck of a lot more than I'm willing to spend on one reward at a time generally, depending on what it is, and I can get quite a bit for 70,000 and a few other rewards, but this was kind of a special occasion and I had the loyalty points to burn, so let's go ahead and uh, crack it open and see what we got. Okay, we are bat opened, let's go ahead and see what we got here. We got... Okay, we got our My Vegas shirt here, and oh, actually, it looks like we got a card here too. Uh, so this is, uh, okay, so it's got all the mascots here, so you got uh, Mitzi, My Vegas, uh, you got Nami, Konami, and then you got uh, Pippa Pop Slots here too, and who is left? That is Vivian, uh, so the Play Studios Vivian, so she kind of kind of reps everybody, and actually she does have a live action counterpart on the uh, on the show too, so that's pretty neat. Actually, this is uh, this is pretty dope. I think this might make a pretty good thumbnail image here. Gonna have to, I might use that for the thumbnail in this episode. Let's read what the card says. Okay, it says, "Thank you for participating in Fall Frenzy. We hope you'll continue to find an escape and some much-needed fun playing our games. Your continued support means the world to us, and we can't wait to bring you more opportunities to enjoy Vegas at home." Support your swag and share it and tag your favorite game. Play on and stay safe. Hashtag full frenzy. My swag. Okay, well, that's actually pretty dope there. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we'll put that on a little later and then uh, we'll use that to promote the video a little bit today. But let's go ahead and see. All right. Yeah, there we go. So it comes in a pretty, pretty good color black there. Um, Let's see there, yep, actually looks exactly the way I thought it would. This is pretty much exa exactly what I expected, so. Material doesn't feel too bad, doesn't feel too different from uh, from my Ace of Vegas shirt, actually. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this bad boy. So this is what it looks like on me. I ordered a medium. Uh, Y'all know me, I'm about 5'11", 6 feet. Uh, and, uh, pretty athletic, but I think a medium size is... It. So it fits perfectly, I'm kind of surprised. That was... Uh, Kind of expecting it to have a little bit of a larger, larger size to it. The uh, fall, uh, the fall family reunion shirt I got last year from Pop Slots that was a little, uh, little wider. So you know, it's it's purple. I don't have to bring it up or something like that. I might bring it up on the screen. But you guys saw that. You guys saw the shirt that I got last time they sent out swag with the uh, with the tumbler I got. <laughs> you know the one. You know the one. But yeah, guys, it doesn't look too bad here. Gotta admit. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get back to getting you guys the rewards that you want, so you can subsidize your vacation the most economically efficient way possible. So there are four different types of rewards that I worry about. Number one, the bare necessities. Number two, seasonal rewards. 
Number three, experience rewards. And of course, number four, fantasy rewards. Let's break that down a little more. So in the bare necessities tier are the rewards that are a constant cost that you always have to cover no matter what when you go to Vegas. That's basically room, food, and drink. Seasonal rewards are things that are effective depending on the season. Special pool passes, different museums and exhibits, that sort of thing there. They're not in regular rotation and usually don't count towards your 3 premium reward limit, so they're just a good thing to keep an eye out for. Experience rewards are things that enhance your Vegas experience. They can be old school, like free play on a slot machine. They can be modern, like free entry to a nightclub with drinks. Or they can be somewhere in between, like a free show ticket. Those are usually the rewards that you're after. And finally, there are your fantasy rewards. They're typically hard to find rewards from third party companies like Maverick Helicopters, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum entries, Avenger Station, or of course the House of Blues Foundation Room premium entry. So now that we got those formalities out of the way, let's get down to planning. We're planning our circuit trip going from October 27th through October 31st. So we'll go up to the upper corner of the screen here. And the best way to do this is I like to sort it by categories. So based on the categories, we're going to start with rooms. Because no matter what we do, we can get as many Groupons as we want. We can usually get comps in the casino. But fact of the matter is, if you don't have a good place to stay going forward or starting off, you're going to have a bad time. So this go around, because I know I have a pretty good offer with M Life, I've decided to go ahead and just use the Luxor two night stay reward. Now that one's actually, yeah, it's actually pretty cheap. It's only about 35,000 loyalty points. Luxor is a decent enough property and I haven't featured on, on the channel before. So I thought I'd go ahead and give it a shot, especially since, hey, you know what? If the rumors are true about them demolishing it, I might never get another chance to stay there or experience it. So Luxor, two complimentary room nights. We're gonna redeem that now. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's work on restaurants, which are actually higher up on the uh, tier list over here. Now, because I have invested in my Vegas, I get four premium rewards, so that first one I never really count. I just kind of count the room as a given. Also, if you have M Life comps, then generally you don't have to worry about it too hard. Ah, uh, yep, here it is 20% off, food only, the entire check at MGM Grand Bar and Grill, Las Vegas. Alright, perfect. I think another good one, especially if I'm solo traveling, might be the Excalibur Steakhouse. 50 bucks off of a $125 bill there. I think I can do that basically by myself, so let's go ahead and uh, hammer that one down too. And we can make reservations, so that'll be pretty dope. Let's just make sure we're not in a blackout date. Uh, let's see. July. November. December. Okay. Oh, and of course, complimentary appetizer at Public House with an entree. That looks like a pretty good idea. It doesn't say that it's premium, so it might be worth it. Okay, so I think we got the bare necessities out of the way. We got a room, and we got some at least some discounts on meals, so that's a good place to go. So next thing that we got to do, we got to figure out some entertainment. So let's go to shows. So they're going to keep threatening us with a fantasy ticket over here. I really would like to go see fantasy, and I think I might take the risk. I doubt that it's going to be open. Yeah, Thunder Down Under doesn't really do it for me. And, well, actually, Tournament of Kings is pretty cool. I wonder if they'll have that open by next month. I'd hate to waste my last reward on a free shot or something. Let's see if there's anything in the special events category. No. Let's check the retail category. Let's see. Well, guys, if you ever want to get married, you can get $200 off your wedding package at MBM Grand for only 3,500 My Vegas loyalty points. Parlor Lounge. This is a completely different two-for-one cocktail. Close Sundays and Mondays, but hey. Okay. Well, you know, I'll tell you what. I don't think the roller coaster reward at New York, New York by itself is worth it. But just because we have nothing else to do, Let's go ahead and uh, take the complimentary mission here. Beggars can't be choosers, and it's pretty cheap. Okay, so now that we've got that all settled over here, let's discuss some budgeting. So first things first, if you are going to go through these over here, make sure that you're budgeting appropriately. 
Now, a lot of the stuff was pretty cheap, and you saw me just kind of picking things off. Like, I think this was the most expensive thing at 55000 I know this is 75000 but, you know, just grabbing whatever wasn't a big deal. I think if you have upwards of 250000 loyalty points, you're generally fine, and if you got a million, you can take a pretty good trip every single time that you go for like a year. If you went four times a year, you do pretty good. Honestly, I think I'm at the point where I could go, you know, probably once a month and still have plenty of loyalty points to go to go around for the whole rest of the year. So that being said, now that you guys know what to buy first and how to buy it, I think you guys are all set to plan your vacation. Now if you need more detailed help on how to do the redemptions, I actually do have videos in the upper right hand corner of the screen here that show you how to book your trip and how to book your offers and how to book your tickets, so on and so forth in the upper right hand corner of the screen, so don't forget about those. Okay then, Spinners and Jerks, that just about does it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Next time, I think we're going to go back and do a little bit of a Way Back Wednesday, and we're going to talk about how to do Vegas right at your local's property. But until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out. I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas Viva Ace of Vegas Viva Ace of Vegas